Let's talk a little bit about ethics then. Um, I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about ethical public relations, and since that's your area of expertise. So in your professional opinion, what constitutes ethical public relations? What is that? I think ethics is essentially an issue of values. Um, and as I mentioned yesterday, there are different types of situation. You have the right versus wrong, and that very often, uh, situa that situation very often is more legal one than an ethical one. Like everybody knows that stealing is unethical, but it's also illegal. And then you have situations of right versus right, when you have conflicting values, or conflicts of legitimate values. That's where it gets very, very interesting. And then you have wrong versus wrong. That's in the medical field where you have a problem and there's no perfect solution and you try to take the best solution or the least harmful solution. Um, so in public relation, in communication, and communication involves everything we do. But unless there is trust, the value of the exchange is very, very low. Trust is essential in any exchange, in any communication. So in PR, whether it's with journalists, whether it's with clients, whether it's with the government, whether it's with the media, having that trust is the most important thing. And once you lose it, it's almost lost forever. It's very rare to regain trust once you've lost it. So that is really a guideline for everything we do. It may sound like expedient at the time, at the moment, but the consequences can be devastating. You know, you have, you know, clients come and go, but the relationship with the media will stay. And once you mislead a journalist, you will never have his trust again. You talk about trust being the key. How can um, an organization, an agency, build trust? How can it maintain trust in an ethical way with, with, um, with the media and with the publics? What are some of the ways that they do that? Well, being truthful, mm -hmm. being open, being transparent, uh, being uh, able to say when you don't have the answer or when you can't deliver the answer, being able to say it. This is confidential. I'm not allowed to tell you. Of course, never lying. And then reputation is you build reputation. And it can take a, it can take a lifetime to build and a few minutes to lose. Uh, I think the reaction also, because things happen, we make mistakes. We all know that. Uh, but the reaction to the, mis the, the mistakes you make also is essential in keeping that trust. People accept that you make mistakes. We all make mistakes. It's, it, people will forgive you for a mistake, but they will be much harder to forgive if you try to cover it up, to lie, to blame someone else. That's harder to forgive. I have this great illustration, illustration of a woman was doing her nails with nail polish and by accident a drop of, of polish went into her daughter's eye. That was the accident. And then the reaction to the accident was to take some solvent and try to remove it, destroy the girl's eye. So uh, sometimes in panic, we, we do very, very stupid things. And the real damage is done in our reaction to the mistake. I think Richard Nixon is a good example. He didn't know about Watergate when it happened. But once he knew it, he did everything wrong, trying to cover up.